All right, guys. For those of you who are new here, uh, welcome to the Community Showcase. This is one of my favorite segments that we do on the show, where we show off amazing community creations and we get to shout out freaking awesome artists and people who do stuff in the League of Legends community. Uh, we've got a lot of cool stuff to show off tonight. Uh, let me throw this up over in chat for you guys. Uh, if you want to submit something to the show, we do this every single week. Just send an email with your highlights or artwork, whatever, over to fatkidgaming21 at gmail.com. We are formerly Fat Kid Gaming. We are now Runekeeper TV. I gotta change the email still. Uh, but please, send it over to fatkidgaming21 at gmail.com with the subject line Community Showcase. Uh, attach your art, and please make sure that all of your lovely uh, social media links are there so that we can shout you out when we show you off on the show. I do owe push-up Starlight. We're gonna get there uh, right after the lore video. I will do my push-ups. I wanna go ahead and get through this uh, and keep things uh, rolling. Uh, up first, guys, we have a really awesome piece, uh, and it is Ari, uh, and it is by Yasumoro over on Twitter. Uh, I came across this piece today, and I was just instantly fell in love with this. I love the perspective on this. Um, I love the use of the entire layout to make the heart, and it look like she's just thrown the charm at you. Uh, and then the overall uh, kind of pink wash that's on it as well, adding extra depth to this piece. Uh, you did such a really fantastic job on this piece, uh, Yasumura. I, I just love it in general. I think, my again, my overall favorite part of this has got to be the layout. And the lighting. Look at the freaking lighting coming off that orb. Those harsh whites creating these really crushed colors against all the pink. It uh, it just creates such an awesome, unique feel to this piece. You really knocked this one out of the park. Um, best part of the community showcase, Sejuani. Oh, look, we're not going to talk about my animated Sejuani login screen that I animated, okay? Hey, what's going on, Necro? How you doing? <laughs> for all you're always in our hearts yes um that uh that login screen is actually uh mine it's fan made if you guys want to go check it out it is over on the youtube there should be links down in the doobly doo uh always viewer games left guard always uh always right after the show after the spotlight yes for my new vape how are you i'm doing well brother uh guys by the way uh Decorona, if you would throw that link over there one more time for me uh Guys, the Twitter link uh, for this piece is over in chat. If you would, if you've got Twitter, please go over. Of course, give Yasumoro a follow. If you would, heart this piece for me. Leave a comment on it. Let them know what you like about it. And let them know that RuneKeeper TV sent you so that they continue to submit cool stuff to the show in the future. And Yasumoro, I love this. I can't wait to see what you do next. All right, guys. Up next, uh, we have a really important piece. Slash a really well done piece. And it is a BLM Echo. Uh, I bumped into this piece. This is by Rachel over on Twitter. Uh, I love this piece. Not only is the message super important right now, um, but the color grading and design on this uh, with the watercolor and smoke on this is so good. Uh, it, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, and just the way that they incorporate all the colors in the lighting on his jacket and stuff is... Uh, it's to die for it. Rachel, you really, really actually killed this design. Uh, and I also appreciate the use of uh, the dark crushed colors to get the message across. And then, of course, the uh, Black Lives Matters movement is very important. Um, so I loved that you got to channel uh, what you were feeling into a piece. And it definitely shows here where my heart react at. All uh, right. Uh... Uh, likewise, guys, if you would, please go check it out. Decorun, it just posted the link over there, uh, for you guys in chat. Uh, if you would, please go give Rachel a follow over here on Twitter. Uh, give this a big heart as well. And if you would, please leave a comment below. Let them know what you like about it. Let them know that you are there for the support. And let them know that Roomkeeper TV sent you so that they continue to submit really cool artwork to the show in the future. And Rachel, I can't wait to see what you do next. He is a younger phoenix from Valorant. I mean, you're not wrong. Working on a piece similar to this right now. Nice. Now I can't wait to see it. Uh, all right, so guys, uh, we've got Oracle back on the show again this week, and it's a really awesome piece. Uh, it's a gin piece. Uh, very common for Oracle to throw up, but this particular piece is, oh my god. Look at the layout and design on this. Oracle, 
I, I love it. I want to see more stuff like this from you. Like, I, I love all your artwork, and I'm always happy to show your stuff off on the show, but this, the layout of this, the use of the blacks and the contrast in the glass, um, just the entire overall design of this, how loose yet detailed the actual frame of this hourglass feels with the looser strokes while still adding that depth to it with the color and the blacks is just insane you literally knocked this piece over okay like ah uh, and then of course not only the artwork but then the thematics that go into this particular piece of artwork is so good oracle you really really did a phenomenal job on this uh i was in love with this from the moment i got tagged in it uh, so please keep up the awesome work. <laughs> right, Common? Uh, guys, if you would, Decorona has posted the link over in the Twitch chat for me, guys. Please go give Oracle a follow. Definitely drop a really big heart on this piece. And then please leave a comment. Let Oracle know what you like about the piece. And, of course, let them know that RuneKeeper TV sent you so that they continue to submit really cool stuff to the show in the future. And, uh, Oracle, I can't wait to see what you do next. <laughs> All right, guys, coming up next, uh, we have a really good Kindred piece. There's a theme tonight with really, really well done blacks, and I love it. Uh, and this Kindred piece is no different, uh, and this is by uh, Skiniki over on Twitter. And I am in love with this. For those of you who don't know, Kindred is a very love-hate relationship for me, especially being a jungle main. I love Kindred to death. Kindred's lore is by far my favorite favorite piece of lore i have covered on league of legends it is such a well-written piece of storytelling i i'm just in love with it and this with the black and white motif uh not being able to tell where uh wolf starts and ends uh you did such a phenomenal job with this you can count on me to take you always i appreciate that Stories to go. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the Runekeepers Inn. God, I love Kindred. Ah, uh, Kindred is so good. Please, dear Lord, if you follow the show, if you know that I do lore videos, I'm asking right now, if you haven't, go over to the YouTube and watch the Kindred video and then shoot me a message so we can fangirl about it. I, when I'm... When I say the Kindred lore video I did is by far my favorite lore video that we've done, it is literally not even joking. There's some other videos I like, uh, like Silas and stuff like that. Silas is really fantastic. I had so much fun scripting and putting that together. Um, but Kindred is without a doubt my top favorite video that we've done and my favorite story to work on. Please always hit me up with the art, Snell. 100%. Um, but yes, guys, if you would, please. Decorona just posted the link over in the chat. Uh, please go give Skaniki a follow. Uh, and of course... Uh, find this piece, uh, give it a big fat heart for me, and then leave a comment on it, let them know what you like about it, and let them know that Runekeeper TV sent you, so that they continue to submit super cool artwork in the future, and Skinny God, I can't wait to see what you do with Kindred next. Kindred is such an interesting and creative depiction of death, yes! Uh, okay, up next, uh... Uh, I don't know if Little Miss Loki is still hiding over in chat or not, uh, but we have a lovely piece by her. We have a program to Leah skin design uh, that I somehow missed when she originally posted on Twitter, which is a freaking sin because I love Little Miss Loki's artwork. Uh, and I love this so much. Uh, I don't even, I don't even like the program skin line. If I'm being completely honest, it's just like one of those things that when I see him, just like eh, whatever, I have no interest in it. I would rock this. I don't think Talia gets enough fucking love. Um, it, it, she's one of those champions when I'm just really looking to have fun, no matter if I'm winning or losing. Um, I just pick her up and play her um, in the jungle and just... Uh, I I would love to see the skin design. And of course, Little Miss Loki knocked this out of the freaking park. Um, sorry, that's her handle over on Twitter, but uh, she goes by Alessia. And oh my god, all of the cats are in my office all of a sudden. Yes, the pool party teaser looks so good, and I'm excited for pool party Talia. Um, but uh, Little Miss Loki, you you absolutely killed this design. And again, I don't like the project skin line. I would pay money for this, hundred percent. You you killed this, like it's phenomenal. The the little flowy cape—they're my favorite part. The little 
What are they, half capes? I don't know what you call them. Um, I feel bad. Thank you, Decorona, for getting the link for the uh, lore video over there. Uh, but yeah, guys, please. Uh, Decorona just posted the link. If you would, please go give Little Miss Loki a follow. Uh, I don't know how far back this piece is, but all of her art is awesome. So drop a comment and a uh, heart on some of her artwork. Uh, and if you feel the need, let her know that Runekeeper TV sent you so that she continues to work with us uh, and uh, drop super cool stuff on the show in the future. Uh, likewise, not only did she do this, uh, but she knocked out these new Runekeeper emotes. The Runekeeper doing the erupting burning finger. That is all her. Uh, so Little Miss Loki, thank you again for taking that commission for me and knocking out some awesome new emotes for the channel. And I can't wait to see what you do next time. Uh, up next... Uh, I, I love this piece. Uh, this is on a champion that I absolutely despise, but I love this piece. Uh, and it's Sorcerer Lux by, uh, Ardrine over on Twitter. Why is this not her splash art for that skin? Ah! I love this. I actually despise this skin in game. Uh, but I love this particular splash for it. Uh, Adrena, you did such a good job. Like, ugh. Uh, I love it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually one of my new my phone's new wallpapers. Uh, this is really really well done. Uh, you took a design that feels so simplistic for me, and just is dead in the water for me, and is on a champion I don't like, and you knocked it out of the park. Uh, from the prisms with the use of light to the moon in the background, really laying into like that witch sorceress kind of theme that's going on. Uh, the flow that you create around this right side that comes up behind her, that gets you to follow the full length of the character. Any of you who've been here before and seen me do the community showcase, you'll know that I talk about flow. It's one of my favorite things. When an artist can draw your eye across the piece exactly the way that they want to, it's it's something that I just absolutely love, and you do such a phenomenal job of it over here. Uh, Doski, what's going on? <laughs> I see you guys are all enjoying the lovely uh, new uh, Erupting Burning Finger emotes that Little Miss Loki did. I go, it's great, Doski. Doski, another great artist. Uh, if we can get a shout-out for her Decorona, that would be awesome. Doski also streams. She does a lot of Dead by Daylight and does art over uh, on her Twitch. You guys should go check her out. Uh, Decorona's gonna get a shout out for her in just a second. Uh, but yes, speaking of which, uh, speaking of shout outs, guys, if you would, Decorona already posted the link, uh, for Adrena over here. If you guys would, please go give them a follow. Of course, heart this Lux piece for me, even though I despise Lux. Uh, and leave a comment on it. Let them know what you like about it. And let them know that Runekeeper TV sent you so that they submit more cool stuff to the show in the future. And Adrena, I can't wait to see what you do next. I love your face, Doski. Redeemed a shout out for her. I like it. That's not how that works, but uh, if you do, there you go, Decorona. Ba bam. I love it. I love that you just did that. Hey. Yeah, guys, that is uh, Doski's Twitter link. If or sorry, not her Twitter link, her Twitch link. If you would please go check her out. Also, go check her out over on Twitter too. She's a really cool artist, uh, and her dear character Nako is super, super cute and adorable, and I love her face. Uh, Doski, throw some emotes up in the chat so they can see your sweet, sweet character because she's awesome. Uh, up next, by the way, guys, I have I have saved the most irrelevant for last. Of course, tonight's spotlight is the Volibear Champion Spotlight. So what kind of showcase would it be if we didn't showcase off some Volibear art? And uh, this is by uh, Hati over on Twitter. Holy shit. When I saw this piece of artwork, my brain imploded. Look at at the fury and the rage. Not to mention the use of the particle lighting in this, as well as the subtle blues that are growing out of his hand where the lightning is actually forming. And again, the use of the particles to wrap and kind of create this atmospheric point where the lightning is coming from. And just, uh, everything about this piece is so good, Hottie. You, you, uh, you killed it. I, I, I don't even know where to go from here. Just, you killed this. Look at the freaking rage. Look at the color grading on this. From the blacks to the deep and vibrant blues into the bright, harsh freaking whites. You cover the whole spectrum of um, colors on this as far as like from the range of darks to light and saturations. 
And it's just so good. Ugh, I love it. The intensity, right? Ugh. For shortening, yes, Doski. Look at the characters. Also, the Zoe. She Doski is, by the way, one of the best freaking Zoe players I've ever met in League of Legends. Best Doski NA, or sorry, best Zoe NA. It looks so dope. Hydrate. Uh, I will hydrate. I got some Mountain Dew. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me to hydrate, Mac. <sighs> I appreciate all of the rage, Mac. All of the rage. Uh, but yes, guys, uh, Decoron, if you could post that link for me over in chat, guys, if you would, please go give Hati a check out. Please drop him a follow. Give this piece a big heart. And uh, likewise, leave a comment on it. Let them know what you like about it. And let them know that Roomkeeper TV sent you so that they continue to submit super cool artwork to the show in the future. Uh, and if you would, guys, let them know that their league stuff is really fantastic. And Hottie, thank you so much for letting me show this off today. I appreciate it. And I can't wait to see what to do next. Best Kali and A. Snell. Nice. I love you guys. Don't lie to me, does he? Oh. Be on soon, y'all. I'll be... Nice. That's awesome, Mac. <laughs> uh, Alright, guys. Uh, we have two uh, clips to show off tonight. Uh, of course, we got our boy Common Effect, who's chilling out over in chat right now as well. Uh, dropping a pentakill on our boy Volibear. Let's check it out! This is just sick nasty. Jax pops in and gets the steal, but they are going to make him pay for it. Volley hitting with the ult. Popping down on the Nami. Nom in the Sivir. Grabbing himself a shutdown on the Jax. Picking up the double. Hitting the Mord with it. Finishing off the Nami with what he started. And then popping the Q. Chasing it down the kill on the Lux here. She looks like she's going to get away. But Volley ain't having that shit. Hit with stun. Hit with the lightning. Chomp him down for the pen kill. Common absolutely killed that. Yeah, hit it with the pen attack. I dig it. Hey, I like it. You both coming with the pen, even on a clip. Y'all were prepared. I dig it. Uh, up next, we have another awesome play. Uh, this is by Lannis playing some ARAMs. He's playing some Yi. Uh, and he has a hell of a play here. Uh, I lose him at first here. Uh, he pops the Q, right? Where he dashed out, pops the Q on the monkey. Reappears, coming in, chasing the monkey down. Pops the Q again. Bop gets him. Bop gets the reset. Bop Q on the echo. Bops him. Goes in on the fresh. He's got the reset. Uh, boom. Flashes the wall. Pops in. Boom. Check this out. Super low. Tower shot surely kills him. Q's in anyway, knowing that the Rakan's going to come in with the shield and save him. That's what I'm talking about. Lannis makes it a serious play. Uh, I didn't count the kills. I think it was, what, four kills? So that's a squadron. Good at shit, man. I dig this. This play was actually pretty good. This is my favorite part, honestly, where he fucking cues into the minions and you can't even see the Rakan, but he has all the faith in the world. Oh, you know what? I don't have the Quadra's the one that I don't have the Fucking sorry. I told you to do it, Zach. I didn't have it. I'm, I'm, I'm failing. I'm the one stop. Um. I did lie. I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, I just love this moment here where he just cues back on the minions and he has all faith in the world that Rakan's going to hit him with that shield. Because you know that tower shot would have killed him otherwise. Like, look at this. Uh, I love it. Lannis, that was, that was sick nasty, honestly. Big nice. <laughs> the salt. Uh, you guys are awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that has been this week's Community Showcase. Remember, if you guys want to get into the showcase, you can send an email over to fatkidgaming21 at gmail.com with the subject line, Community Showcase. Include your artwork. Include your clips. Make sure you include your social medias or your summoner name so that I'll give you a big shout-out here on the show. Likewise, feel free to reach out to me over on the Twitter. My DMs are always open. Just slide right on in them, bad boys. Uh, and we will get you here on the show. I want to show off all the awesome things that you guys do because I feel like without the community, there would be no League of Legends, and I love y'all's faces and everything that you do. That's it for tonight's Community Showcase, but that means it's time for this week's Champions.